Hello Libra, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Libra, let's go over the overall energy for your reading for today. Let's see what we got. So we do have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today, Libra. But we are going to focus on you first and then we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this can either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Libra currently view this relationship okay so we have the nine of cups we also have the sun out here as well as the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we do have the queen of pentacles and then we also have the ace of pentacles for some of you you could have recently received a raise possibly even a promotion i'm kind of leaning more towards a promotion uh, that you could have recently received at work or you could very well be receiving a promotion very very soon but I'm, I'm i'm getting your financial situation drastically improving and i feel like you're going to be really really happy about this promotion that you're about to receive for some of you you could very well be starting a new job very, very soon, and it could very well be in a field that you're extremely passionate about. I'm also kind of getting that um, as well. Right now, I'm not really getting anything love-related. That's one thing that I will say. Um, it's kind of leaning more towards uh, your financial situation drastically improving due to a raise, due to a promotion, or due to you starting a brand new job, but I'm also kind of getting an overall energy of you possibly working a field that you're really, really passionate about. All right, let's look at your person. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the Seven of Swords, okay? We have the uh, Six of Swords, and then we also have the um, Five of Wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I don't feel like someone is uh, happy. I don't feel like someone's happy that you're improving financially speaking. Um, and whoever this someone is, dude, it could be a freaking coworker. It could be a family member of yours. It could be a friend of yours. Hell, it could even be somebody that you're married to or currently romantically involved with or even an ex of yours. But whoever this person is, I feel like they're catching wind of this promotion that um, you're receiving or this raise that you're perceiving. Uh, and I feel like somebody's not too happy about it. It's like this person's looking at you like you don't really deserve that promotion or you don't really deserve that raise. Whoever this person is, they also come off to me as somebody who's very, very two-faced. Like this is that type of person that'll sit there and congratulate you, but behind your back, you know, they're telling every other coworker that you don't really deserve that raise. You don't really deserve that promotion. You don't work as hard as they do. Like it does kind of have that, that feel to it. It does. Just know, just know Libra that you do have someone around you that doesn't want to see you succeed. That doesn't want to see you grow. That doesn't want to see you evolve. Just know that. Just know that. Uh, Libra. I am going to pick these cards back up because I don't feel like this is somebody that you're romantically involved with. This to me kind of feels like, I don't know, like a coworker or something like that. That's very jealous and envious of you and your growth. Okay. Um, yeah. But let's, let's pull again. How does this person currently view this relationship with Libra? All right, so we got the Knight of Wands, we got the Six of Pentacles, and then we also have the Death card. Who are you? There's somebody here taking action in your direction, Libra. There is someone here that is extending themselves to you, but it's somebody that you already experienced an ending with, Libra, uh, which is kind of making me feel like this is more than likely an ex of yours that you're receiving communication from. It's interesting the way that they're reaching out to you and how they're going about all of this it's like they're contacting you as if this ending never occurred here between the two of you um it's kind of what i'm getting it's like hey long time no speak how's it going you know completely disregarding you know this ending and what happened here between you and them um how is libra gonna feel how is libra gonna feel about this communication that they're receiving mm -mm -mm. We have the uh, Seven of Swords, we got the Eight of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Seven of Cups. I feel like prior to you receiving communication from this person, um, you're gonna get an intuitive hit 
uh, that this person is going to be reaching out to you. And the way that you're going to be getting this intuitive hit is that they're going to randomly start crossing your mind. You might find yourself having dreams about this person um, because I do see you getting an intuitive hit about this person gravitating towards you way before it actually happens. So um, like I said, you might find yourself having dreams about them. You might start to... Um, randomly think about this person out of nowhere because whoever this person is to the right of me it's definitely not somebody who's at the forefront of your mind okay that that's one thing that i am definitely getting they are not at the forefront of your mind so when you do hear from them when you do hear from them it's all going to basically make sense as to why you've been having dreams about them as to why they've been randomly crossing your mind is kind of what i'm getting but currently at the moment i feel like you are kind of questioning why something in particular keeps happening and that something in particular has a lot to do with them crossing your mind, you having dreams about them. So you could very well be wondering to yourself, like, damn, like, why am I thinking about this person out of nowhere? I haven't seen them in years. I haven't spoken to them in years. Why are they randomly crossing my mind out of nowhere? Uh, and it's mainly because they're about to reach out to you. I want to look at the Knight of Wands. No. Can I more about the Six of Pentacles? Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles, we got the Nine of Wands, and then we also have the uh, King of Cups, and then we also have the Sun. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Five of Cups, we also have the uh, Four of Pentacles. Why do I feel like this is like uh, an excuse they're just kind of using to reach out to you? This feels like an excuse they're using to reach out to you. They're kind of making, they're going to make it seem to you, Libra, like the reason why they're contacting you, the reason why they're reaching out to you is because they've been, they've been very worried and concerned about you. I'm going to be honest, this to me just kind of feels like an excuse, you know what I mean? To like call you, text you, like it has that type of feel to it. It has that type of feel to it. But I feel like for whatever reason, this person has been, you know very worried and very very concerned about you but i don't feel like that's how do i say this how do i say this even though the cards are insinuating right that they've been very worried and very concerned about you i don't feel like they have been worried or concerned about you i just feel like this is what they're going to be telling you just to kind of break the ice and start a conversation with you if that makes absolutely any sense okay um so they're gonna use the whole hey the reason why i'm calling you or hey the reason why i'm texting you is because you know i've just been a little bit worried about you are you good just just checking on you uh-uh no i feel like that's just you know what they're gonna throw at you just to kind of break the ice and start a conversation with you is kind of what i'm getting you seem perfectly fine to me uh with the nine of cups to the sun to the page of pentacles to the queen of pentacles to the ace of pentacles you seem perfectly fine to me i feel like you're leveling up financially speaking due to this raise due to this promotion due to you starting this new job um i feel like you're doing great i feel like you're doing great um how does this person currently feel I feel like there's more to the story here all right we have the queen of wands we have the three of pentacles and then we also have the uh, ace of cups i feel like this is the main reason why they're back they might hit you with the listen like i've just been very worried and concerned about you haven't seen you in forever haven't heard from you in forever but let's just be real let's just be real i feel like they're just saying that just to kind of break the ice to start a conversation i feel like this is why they're really resurfacing back up here for you um i feel like um the main reason why they're resurfacing back up here for you is because they want a second chance they want a second chance they want to start over with you um i guess we'll see um how you feel about this um how is libra gonna feel about all of this Okay, we have the Ace of Cups, we got the Hermit, and then we also have the Judgment card. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Justice card to the Hangman, and then we also have the uh, Six of Pentacles. So, in regards to how you're going to be feeling about all of this, I feel like you're going to be willing to have a conversation with this person. Um, I do see you taking this offer of theirs into consideration as far as like starting over with them is concerned. Um, however, I feel like... I feel like you're holding off on making any sort of like major like decisions as of right now because I feel like there's something that you're trying to figure out. 
about this person. You could be trying to figure out if this person has changed or not. That's definitely a possibility. Um, but I feel like you're you're holding off on making any sort of major decisions just yet because there's something that you want to figure out first before you decide to like officially start over with this person and let this person back in is basically what I'm getting. Okay. What actions will Libra take towards this person? Are moving forward so we do have the lovers we also have the queen of pentacles and then we also have the empress libra one thing that i am definitely getting from you um, is a leveling up energy i mean you go from the queen of pentacles to the empress so you're definitely leveling up drastically okay that that's one thing that i am definitely getting you're leveling up uh financially because i was kind of getting that um I was definitely getting that. With the Empress, though, coming out here uh, for you, I got to be honest, even though, yes, Libra, you're getting that promotion you've always wanted, uh, you're getting that raise you've always wanted, or that job opportunity you've always wanted, I still kind of feel like uh, you're not 100% satisfied um, is kind of what I'm getting. And nothing wrong with that, because I feel like because you're not 100% satisfied, uh, with where you're at financially speaking, even though I feel like you're doing very well for yourself financially speaking, uh, there's an energy of you wanting to do even more. You know what I mean? Because you know you're capable of, of doing far more than what you're currently doing, even though I feel like you're doing great, <laughs> to be completely honest. But yeah, there is this overwhelming feeling of you essentially feeling like... I could do better. I could do better. I could do better. I could do better. So you're definitely pushing yourself to do better. You're definitely pushing yourself to grow and, and elevate. That's one thing that I am definitely getting strongly off of you. Um, as far as like this connection to the right of me is concerned, um, I do see you for the most part giving this person a chance. I just don't feel like you're 100% sold on them just yet and i feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you're currently trying to figure something out you're trying to figure out possibly if this person has honestly changed or not um that could very well be what you're trying to currently figure out but i do see you reconnecting with this person but i also see you trying to figure something out in the process of it all now at the bottom of the deck we do have uh, reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life uh which is basically this person to the right of me all right what actions Will this person take towards Libra or moving forward? Okay. We got the... Um, mm, 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 mm. No, I don't like this. Two of Wands, Queen of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're the Queen of Cups over here. We also have the King of Cups, by the way, at the bottom of the deck. True pair situation, by the way, between you and this person. Definitely a lot of love still between you and this person. This is why I don't like this. I don't like this. This is why I don't like this. Um, I feel like this person's rushing you. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person's rushing you to basically make a decision. With the Chariot coming out here to the Two of Wands, the Chariot basically represents fast movement, right? Um... So with that being said, paired to the two of wands, it's, it's an energy of somebody rushing somebody to make a decision already. Uh, we're either going to do this, Libra, or we're not going to do this. You let me know what you want to do so I know, you know, what's going to end up happening next. Um, again, and I already kind of said this about you, Libra, I feel like there's something that you're currently trying to figure out first before you open that door back up fully you know what i mean i feel like you're currently at the moment you got the door cracked open just a little bit um but you haven't opened that door back up fully to this person because there's things that you need to kind of figure out on your end um because the last thing you want to do is take this person back and you find yourself going to the same old shit all over again so a lot of figuring out uh needs to kind of take place on your end before you decide to let them fully back in but i'm going to be honest this one over here is going to try to rush you to make a decision you're either going to reconnect with them or you're just going to continue to remain on the path that you're currently on, which is basically being single, focusing on you, your money, your career, your growth, your expansion. But I feel like they just want an answer already. They just want an answer already. Um, okay. Um, tell me more about the chariot. I also feel like you're going to receive an apology for this person uh, for whatever it is that they said and or did that cause this relationship to go south here between you and them. I do see this person apologizing over a lot of things, actually, that they put you through in the past. But, you know, it's interesting. Um, 
it's interesting because I feel like, yes, they are technically speaking, right? Doing the right thing by apologizing to you for everything that they put you through in the past. But it's, it's as if this person feels like, how do I explain it? I feel like that's just kind of how they're going about this entire situation. It's like, yes, they're resurfacing back up here for you. They're telling you exactly why they're... Well, they're going to eventually tell you why they're really, really bad. They're going to hit you with the list and I've been worried about you. Sure, they haven't been worried about you. That's one thing that I will say. I feel like they're just using that to break the ice. But they're going to eventually tell you the real reason why they're bad. They're going to apologize to you for all the stuff that they put you through. But they're also expecting that after they apologize to you for everything that they put you through, uh, that the two of you are just going to automatically just get back together. That's just what they're expecting for you to do is to accept their apology and just take them back. No questions asked. So, you know, then there's that. <laughs> then there's that. Um, I feel like this is your advice from spirit. This is your advice uh, from spirit. Um, because again, I feel like you're trying to figure something out. You're either trying to figure out this person is trustworthy or if this person has changed or not whatever it is that you're trying to figure out because everybody's situation is going to be different i feel like this is what spirit wants you to do um make them prove themselves to you before you officially open that door back up all the way um because that's going to help you determine whether or not this person has actually changed or not or whether or not this person is now trustworthy or not you know what i mean like it's gonna give you the time that you need to really figure out if this person has actually changed or not. And I feel like that's exactly what spirit wants you to do. Take your time, regardless of this human, regardless of what this human wants, right? As far as like an answer right away, they're gonna have to be patient with you and extremely understanding um, with you. They're gonna have to, because this one over here just thinks that, well, if I just apologize for X, Y, and Z, um, you know, they should just take me back right away. No questions asked. That's just not... This is not Burger King habit your way, in other words. Um, so with that being said, I, I feel like spirit really does want you to take your time. Take your time and honestly figure out if this person has actually changed or not before you open that door all the way back up all over again, Libra. Because listen, there's a possibility that you may discover that this person is still the same old person that they used to be. Or you might discover that this person has actually changed. But take your time. Don't rush things here because they want you to give them an answer right away. If they really do want to be with you, um, they would be nothing but you know understanding and patient with you. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. So we do have new love, we do have true love, and then we also have give your relationship, listen, there's a huge possibility, dude, that this person may have actually changed. So there's a possibility, but I feel like, I feel like there's a reason why spirit just wants you to take things extremely slowly here with this person. I'm kind of curious as to why, because I feel like spirits like just, just don't rush things, just take things slowly here and really figure out if this person has actually changed or not. Um, tell me more about temperance. Come here, okay. We got the four of pentacles, we got the king of pentacles, we also have the chariot, and then we also have the uh, star out here at the bottom of the deck we do have the uh, six of pentacles so the hangman and then we also have the uh, justice card i feel like the main reason why spirit wants you to take things slowly here with this person and not give them what they want is because it's going to force this person to really step their game up um and, and come correct this time um because if you just turn around and take this person back um if you just turn around and take this person back libra um Keep in mind, it's just one of those situations where like you're, you're kind of teaching this person how to love you. So whatever it is that they did in the past that caused this relationship to go south was just completely unacceptable. And you cannot allow this person to think that all it really takes to get you back is just a fucking apology. You know what I mean? And that's why spirit's like, yeah, make this one over here work for it. Make them really prove themselves to you. Because um, at the end of the day, you are technically speaking teaching this person how to love you and if an apology is all it takes just to get you back after everything that they put you through you know what i mean the likelihood right the likelihood of them fucking up again you know what i mean and then you guys parting ways and all they have to do is a, is just apologize to you and get you back like 
you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like they, they have to really put in the work, you know what I mean? To show you that they've actually changed, to show you that, you know, their words match up with their actions and stuff like that. Don't, don't let this person think that that's all it takes to get you back is a fucking apology and that's it. You know what I mean? No, don't allow, do not allow this person to basically think that because the moment this person starts to basically think that, oh, well, shit, I could fuck up time and time again. All I have to do is apologize and Libra's going to take me back. Oh, okay. This is going to be a walk in the park. No, like this person needs to honestly believe that you're not going to just sit around and just accept an apology and just take them back as if nothing ever happened. Clearly something happened here and they have to um, regain your trust. They have to not only regain your trust, but they also have to like, they also kind of have to show you that they've changed in some way, shape or form. Because I was kind of getting that from you, that you're trying to figure out if this person has changed in some way, shape or form. I don't know um, exactly, you know what you're trying to figure out in regards to like if this person has changed or not I don't know if you're referring to like you know I don't know like them changing their ways possibly um I don't know exactly what it's kind of leaning more towards in regards to that however spirit just doesn't want you to just turn around and give this person what they want they have to really like prove themselves to you before you open that door back up because with these cards coming out here that's kind of telling me if you go about your situation in this manner um you might get a better outcome instead of just accepting their apology and just taking them back as if nothing ever happened you know what i mean um because the likelihood of them deciding to turn around and do it all over again might happen um because then you know they're gonna realize oh that's all it takes to get libra back all i have to do is apologize and they're just gonna take me back oh great you know you don't want them to think that in other words all right so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye